Well, today we're going to take off a radiator support. And I've already started working on this, but uh, and I cut the one side loose to kind of give you an idea what you're looking for. This is like the frame rail, this piece right here. Stick out, and it's always blunt and flush, and then it welds to the back side of the radiator support here. Now every model car is going to be a little bit different on how the radiator support mounts or welds, but um, they're still pretty much close to the same. You just look for the inner, this is kind of like the inner fender, inner fender well. comes right off the uh, strut tower. In other words, this is without the fender on the car. And you have to take the fenders off usually to get these off. This car was hit, so it's all smashed. I'll have to re-straighten this piece of metal back out. And same with my drilling. Now, right now I'm just using a drill bit to drill the welds out. They actually make a tool, and I'll show you here in a second, that actually cuts the welds out. Mine actually happens to be uh, dull, so I don't have time to run and get little blades. Plus, this is an economy job. So what you're going to do, and I already got these out. Uh, the flashlight. You're going to look. Let me rub this. Some of you have to rub where you think the weld might be. Wherever you see like a little dot. Like right there. And right there. What we're going to do. Just swap hands. You get your punch and try to center it in that weld as best you can. Now you can use a hammer and a punch. I just happen to have one of these little spiffy spring loaded center punches. If you're in doubt, you can always look on the back side if you can see it. And you can see here, there's the one part of the weld I just punched and the other part of the weld. So there's just two welds on this. But you'll walk it all the way down. Like I said, you'll walk it all the way down wherever they've put the uh, bent flange right here. And basically just butts against it in spot welds. This is a spot weld. Uh, tool. That's a little blade right here. Uh, and this is spring loaded. And you can either drill a decent hole for that to center in, or you can, or, you know, in other words, a hole about halfway through, or drill a hole all the way through. As long as it centers, and then this little blade will eat around that weld, that uh, spot weld. Yeah, like I said, this was my last blade, and they're dull. And I've, it may work, but uh, I've got at least 10 welds to drill out so this thing wouldn't make it but this is what you'd want to use right here uh, if you want to do a really nice job that way you don't have any holes on the flanges that you're going to be cutting out but as you can see this car is Hail damaged from end to end, faded and peeled, and the owner just wants a front end put on it so that he can drive it or sell it. So, but the, unfortunately, the radiator sport was pretty heavily smashed. The only way to be able to put it back together is to change it out. So, I'll uh, start drilling here in a second. I've center punched them, so now I'm going to drill them out. And it helps if you have a variable speed drill. The drill bits actually cut better at a slower speed instead of high speed. Keeps you cooler and keeps it from burning up.
you see, <clears throat> it's come loose. Now I just got to do about 10 more of those. Usually drilling the eighth inch the center hole is the hardest. You're going to want to drill some holes in, in the new radiator support lined up with the holes um, in the old radiator support where you drilled out the spot welds. Uh, anywhere from an eighth to five thirty second, um, even up to a quarter inch uh, drill depending on your welder, how comfortable you are drilling through a, a hole. And then um, you'll be welding from behind from the holes where you drilled out the spot welds in the old radiator support where they went all the way through. You'll come from behind and drill that out. I've already put some of the stuff on the radiator support, nothing much like clips and uh, some brackets. Went ahead and bolted up the horns, but uh, so you'll see. Let's see if I can get in, get zoomed in here. So right here, what I did is I drilled some holes, or actually I have a hole puncher, but I put some holes in this piece here and on the side and polished up the metal that it welded to and then just started a bead and welded it to it and then those holes that were left from when I drilled I drilled out the front and drilled the welds out it left holes back here so I just polished up the metal cleaned up the radiator support got rid of the paint on the back side of it <clears throat> so I just put a clamp on here and put my welds through the holes that I had drilled so it's that simple just you set it up there hang it uh, clamp it in place make sure the fender is bolted that's what I did here is I set the fenders up to make sure that this remaining hole uh, lined up with the other ones and it did so I clamped it in place and just welded to it because if you remember I drilled the sun out of the camera. I drilled here, here, and across here. Back up. Drilled here, 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 and here. Or right, right here, actually. And down through here. And those are where I drilled the welds out. And down through here. And all I did is just use the, the holes that remained to come from behind and spot welded them in. And that was it. There's nothing that welds in the middle. Uh, but so basically it just welds here and that. And of course the nice thing about this one is it actually has bolts that hold, help hold it on. So, But uh, that's all there is to putting a radiator support in.